Hello once again and welcome back to Tech Tip Tuesday. Hopefully you're enjoying watching these videos just as much as I am making them. Today I want to show you how you can add some TypeScript declarations to your existing JavaScript code so you can integrate your JavaScript libraries in your TypeScript projects. So I've got a basic node TypeScript setup here with a main TypeScript file and I'm using this greets library that I've written which just contains a single function which greets the user. You can specify the name, the message, and the number of greetings in the arguments there. So the downside of using just JavaScript, plain old JavaScript libraries in your TypeScript is that TypeScript doesn't actually know you know, what type of function this is. So it just assumes that's an any type there. As you can see, my TypeScript compiler running in the background has classified this as just a function or a variable actually of type any. And I'm importing that using the require syntax. So we can actually resolve that by adding type declarations to our JavaScript code. And to do that, we need to add a file, which is the same name as my library, file, but just with a different extension, the TypeScript declaration extension, b.ts is the extension there. So what I can do in that file is simply declare the function with this syntax, declare function, and I'm gonna declare the function that I wrote in my JavaScript file, and it actually has three arguments, name, which is a string, the message, which is also a string, and the amount, which is a number. And I'm also gonna specify the return type of that function, which in this case is void. And so there I've declared my function. I can also make some of these variables actually optional. So name, I'll make that one mandatory. Message is optional. Amount is also optional. And then I just need to export that type declaration there. So. Now, if I go back to my main file, you can actually see that already the TypeScript compiler in my IDE recognizes this function now. And to put the cherry on top of the cake, uh, I'm gonna use the TypeScript import syntax to import that function. And right now, actually, my TypeScript compiler that's running in the background should give me an error when I put the wrong type of parameters in the function. So that's pretty cool. And just by adding one simple type declaration here, we can really enhance the integration of any JavaScript library with our TypeScript project. So we can support either your own or your external JavaScript libraries. So I hope that was a helpful tip. Let me know what you think in the comments. And have a great Tuesday.